First up, we have the PV Triple X amp over here. I've used this in a few of my programs and it has killer tone. We have the Randall Slant Cabinet 412 Celestions and uh, good, nice workhorse amplifier. We go next door and we have the Anger Powerball. Jeff Loomis used this one in his program, and I'm sure if you had that program, you hear his tone. It is killer, sweet, tight, and um, this amp is, is beautiful. Actually, when you put it on, you turn it on, let's see if you can put it on. Yeah, you see that little red lights in the back? They have little neon lights in there, which makes it look cool. It's like pimping up your ride, but it's an amp, pimping up your amp. And uh, um, so Jeff Loomis used this one. Um, Somebody else did, I can't remember right now, but somebody else did use this amp besides him. Now, let's walk a little further over. And we have the PV 6505 Plus. And that is an amp that Rob Arnold from Khmer used. Killer guitar player. Also, we have Ali Herbert, All That Remains. Killer guitar player. And Bob Thompson from Job for a Cowboy. Bobby Thompson also used this one. And, um, Again, a lot of metal bands are using the 6505, and PV has some killer tube amps. And, uh, and uh, again, you'll hear this tone in their amps uh, and their sound in their programs and the, when they play live. I'm sure you'll see these stacked up. Anthony here. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the other amps. Wait, got. you probably should have the microphone on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. Yeah, cool. All right, Anthony here. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the other amps that we got. Also, we got here uh, the Meteoro, and this is a killer amp. Andreas Kisser used it, and uh, it had a really unique sound. And I'm not sure if I ever heard an amp that sounded quite like this one. It's uh, custom. Everything about this is, is freaking sweet. And uh, over here, we got a couple more amps. We got the JSX here on top. Joe Satriani signature model made by PV. This thing's really cool. It's got a noise gate. It's got three channels, a lot of tone controls. It gives you basically a very versatile sound. And then uh, the last one we got here upstairs is uh, the Randall. This one here uh, got used by Gus G on his shoot. And uh, it's a signature model that he had when he was with Randall. And uh, Randall Cab as well. Got selections in it. Pretty ballsy. All right, so now we're gonna take you guys down. Yeah, yeah, guys downstairs and see what we got cooking down there. Let's go downstairs at Rock House. First thing I'm gonna show you is our our newest thing. Now we're doing some shooting at Rock House here. We have a um, little bit of the rack of doom over here, and we have the EVH head. And what we do is we record directly through this stuff. We have a Prophecy, which is a, a two preamp. We have the ADA preamp. Famous in the 80s, but killer, killer tone. Actually, Alexi Leho used this one on his first DV program, first two DV programs. Love that. Through a Mesa Boogie 5050 tube power amp. Uh, that's one rig that we use. The other one is the EVH. Again, killer tone. This one, um, Gary Ho used on his, on his program. And uh, turn over to this side. We have John Moyer from Disturbed. His program is gonna be coming out soon. This is his custom rig, and uh, cool stuff on it. You know, the flames, the skull, metal, you know. So that was that was his rig. And um, actually, uh, Freak Bass, when he did his program, he used a custom uh, amp like that too, which was, uh, they make sweet bass amps, amps that are like killer, clean, crisp, powerful uh, tone on them. All right, over here we got two more amps for you guys. We got this Randall here, which is the Titan head. This thing is really awesome. It's a solid state amp. Uh, John McCarthy used it on a lot of his shoots, and also Dimebag Daryl used this amp before. So that's how you know it's good. 
guy like him, he's a freaking awesome player. And then uh, last but not least, we got this Laney, which uh, Kiko Lurero used on his four DVDs that he shot with us. And uh, make sure you look out for his new releases. 31-20 with a uh, straight cabinet. Uh, again, all tubes. This thing, I mean, if I really wanted to crank it up, you want to we'll see this thing, eh? Oh, there we go, yeah. Ready for this? Definitely has some balls to it. So, uh, oh, we also have this little tiny crate. This thing is like uh, the block, they call it. I used to, uh, when I was digging, bring this out to a gig. Just in case my amp blew, had a little spare on the side. You never know. What could happen when you're playing live, right? Hey, it's Jim at Rock House. We're going, uh, continuing on with the, uh, t telling you about the amps we have over here. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the combo amps that we have uh, hanging out. Uh, over here, on my right, we have a, a Black Star combo amp. It's a 20, uh, 20 watt tube amp. It's the loudest 20 watts you probably ever hear. It's uh, a British company. Um, they're getting a lot of notoriety nowadays with Gus G uh, using their amps and stuff. Over here, on the left, we have a uh, Bugera. 3 XL. This is actually my favorite amp um, because it has all the features I want and I use uh, when I'm playing in the studio or live. And uh, some of the stuff I really love about this amp has a built-in noise gate, has a, a three channel, um, three channels on it. You see, I like to set it up for a clean a rhythm, like a distorted rhythm, then a, a lead tone. Uh, never mind the effects, move boost, and stuff like that. Um, I'm more of a cut and dry kind of player, it's not a lot of pedals. Um, I use a little reverb on a lead and stuff like that, and a little chorus. So, uh, this amp has everything. I mean, I love this amp. Um, cranks. All right, there you have it, the amps of Rock House. Anthony and I showed you uh, a lot of the half stacks. Jimmy showed you some of the combo amps. I also have uh, a, a Vox AC30 and a Blues DeVille from my own personal studio that we bring down here and crank up for some of the artists. But at Rock House, there's always music going on. There's always amps cranked up. The roof is shaking all the time. That's what Rock House is about. Yeah.